I'm gonna be talking for a bit in this intro and I wanted this video to be released quickly for once. I hope I'll be more or less understandable. Sons of the Forest came out and so me and my boys bought it and played for roughly 7 hours. Since then we've had some laughs, some impressions and some thoughts. With all this came a few dumb clips I'm about to show you. But first I want to point out the main thoughts about the game. First noticeable thing, building system. It's way different than in previous game. You do most things by hand rather than from blueprint. Blueprints are for more specific objects. With new building system came new possibility. You have more control over the structures you build which is always great. Before I was able to play, seeing all these trailers with all the animations of chopping wood into smaller bits got me thinking that these animations would be annoying after a while. The animations themselves are not the issue, the issue is sometimes positioning yourself to be able to chop the wood into those smaller bits. Overall, the building system is even more fun than in the forest. Second noticeable thing the cannibals, their behavior and variety. I try not to get involved into a fight too much because life is more fragile in this game. Player's life as well as the cannibal's life. There is no second chance thing like we had in the first game, as in if you have a small chunk of health and it reaches zero, you are still alive and then the next hit will kill you. In this game, when you hit zero HP, you die. Well, actually, you're taking the nearest cannibal camp and you'll have to escape, like escaping from the cave in the first game. The thing with the cannibals is that they usually don't attack if you ignore them, which doesn't mean you should, because they'll start being more and more annoying and will start to provoke you by throwing pebbles at you while you work or will keep being loud as fuck. Third noticeable thing friendly AI. I don't know if there is more of them but so far I've met two friendlies. Kelvin, which we met at the very first minute of the game, our fellow crew member with head trauma who cannot speak nor hear but can read and understand very well. And Virginia, I believe she's called. A woman with a uh, little too many limbs will help you by giving you stuff you can fill your inventory with. She will also sometimes show you a cool place like a crashed helicopter with multiple dead bodies or a pond full of dead bodies and free loot or sometimes she'll just give you a thumbs up you're doing a great job mate she doesn't speak neither and you'll have to gain her trust by letting her stick around and not chasing her like a horny degen until you gain her trust she'll be an annoying nuisance and she'll do stuff like fucking up the pile of wood you ask Kelvin to gather because she happened to run through it or she'll just be running up to you while you wait for her to do something so that she'll just show you the gesture like so done okay the game is basically a huge the forest update with many overhauls to already existing systems in a new or expanded map I'm not sure if it's the same island or not but some places kind of seem familiar but, well, it's a forest, so many places may seem familiar. Anyways, that's all of my first impressions. Here's a few clips I've recorded along the way. Thank you for listening. Respects and enjoy.
первого. Mm-hmm. 